Hello, 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 and welcome to Celebrity Business Review, where I read the, the energy of a celebrity's business and discuss things that they can do to make them better. This week, we are talking about Elon Musk. So I'm kind of excited to, to get into this reading. I mean, I he's he's another one of these people that I don't really fangirl over. So um so I know I'm coming at this from a from a different perspective. So it's exciting. Anyway, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Robin Jana Rosenhouse. And if you are brand new to uh, Celebrity Business Review, I'm an energetic bushwhacker for businesses. I work with high performing six, seven and eight figure entrepreneurs and their teams to ensure that their businesses get the results they're looking to achieve faster and easier than ever before. And just to keep these readings energetically aligned, um, they are for entertainment purposes only and are not affiliated with any of the celebrities mentioned herein. Um, and as always, if you happen to know any of these celebrities, feel free to share away and, and you know, maybe introduce us or something. Just saying. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to today's business. Okay, so Elon Musk. So here's the deal. I mean, obviously, the guy is like richer than God, right? Um, we and we also know that he's um, he's kind of like a typical genius, right? So he's quirky. He's he's a little bit quirky. No, you know, not bad, not wrong. Just it's just a little bit quirky. So, um, and and he's just got this mind, right? That really just never stops, and he comes up with some pretty amazing ideas. They don't always come to fruition, right? That he doesn't always succeed, and we need to keep that in mind. Um, any of you who are who are business owners or your athletes or your celebrities or your employees and you are um, reaching for a goal, you have to keep in mind you're going to lose, you're going to fail. And when I say fail, I mean just not achieve it that time. Um, more often than you're actually going to get the result that you are looking to achieve. Doesn't mean anything is wrong or bad. Just means more practice is required, a different way of looking at things, right? A different way of experimenting. That's what science is. It's experimenting. It's trying things out. And life is really one big science experiment. And so rather than keep chatting and chatting about that, let's get back to business here. So speaking of things not, you know, speaking of things failing, right? First card that we come up with when we look at his at Elon Musk's businesses and just his overall businesses, right? Things aren't turning out the way that he hoped, right? So there's a lot of things going on that just are, are working out. Uh, you know, that are that that just aren't making it right now. They aren't working right now. No big deal, right? And and what he's got to be careful of. And if any of you know him, I would really love to hear more about this side of him. You know, but but they're reminding him that he needs to be optimistic. And that and and optimistic doesn't necessarily mean that the experiment, the business venture itself is going to be a success. What it means is there's a positive message in there someplace. There is a message in there someplace. There is a, if you want to call it a lesson, lessons often they feel hard, right? But there's something new in there for him to learn. And when he gets that, when he accepts that, and when he he sees what it is that he, that that um that new thing is, that new learning is, right? When he gets that, then he can move forward in a completely different direction. And so what it looks like also is there's somebody, if they're not there yet, he's made or he's about to make 
a new connection. And this person is tapped into the universe in a different way than Elon is, right? I'm on a first name basis with him now. <laughs> Um, he's, you know, they, they, um, we're all connected to the universe. We are all connected. You ever get that gut feeling? You ever just know something? That's because you're connected to the energy of the universe and, and whatever doors were closed, opened up, something came through, was strong enough. You recognized it. You got the message, right? So this person is also is is like that but like that they're super psychic but they're not psychic like for a living okay so this person this with this person with the, the heightened intuition um can really help mr musk <laughs> elon musk move into a, a new phase of life and a new phase of business um, it, it can very much help put an end to a lot of the difficulties that he's experiencing if he lets this person in, okay? Um, but it, it really can make things a heck of a lot better. And it looks like, it looks like to me that he is going to let this person in because they're, it's talking about how um, he, it, this relationship is, is going to grow closer. And, um, there's even an aspect of forgiveness in here. I feel like he's really hard on himself. Right. And if he can, can uh, learn how to embrace the tenacity without beating himself up all the time, um, that would be really, really great. And again, you know, that we're looking at positive resolutions to conflicts if he lets the person in, that's my big message to him. Like if he wants, like the bottom line is if, if he really is ready to move things to the next level, to have more things um, succeed than, than fail in the way that they are now um, and, and create more of a uh, happy personal life and business life and keep, you know, everybody happy, you know, to some degree, then he's really got to let this person in. But there's also like this, there's this, this fight within him, right? Maybe it's time to move on. Maybe in his mind, like maybe it's time to move on. But this intuitive person really is going to help him have patience. And I think that this is actually a woman partner, not a love interest. I don't, I don't even know if he's married, um, but not a love interest. This is either, this is a woman partner, or if it's a man, he's got a lot of feminine traits, right? So, but again, this is not a love interest. This is somebody who's also going to help to keep him from being, um, what's the word? Um, uh, it's, it's going to keep them from acting so impulsively. That's the word I'm trying to think of. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to like, when the energy is coming in quick and strong, it's really hard for me to find like the human words. I know what it feels like. So, um, but they're going to help them to, to be a little less impulsive and, uh, and, and a little less like emotional in a detrimental way definitely going to help him with some patience. And I'll tell you what, man, for his sake, and for everybody else who benefits from his business and his products and his services, I really, really, really hope that he that he listens and he lets this person in because dude, he's going to have the Midas touch for a long time if he lets this happen. And I feel like, you know, think what you want about him, but I feel like if that happens, it can only result in good for the rest of us. I don't know why, but that's what I'm feeling. 
So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Celebrity Business Review. Please feel free to share this with colleagues and friends who are, you know, just interested in knowing how energy can help them get the business results they're looking for faster and easier. And these are fun, right? So share away. And if you're interested, I work with a uh, privately with a, with a handful of clients each year. I just um, decided to open up for a little while single sessions. So if you would like to talk about how I can support you and your company, schedule uh, a private inter- introductory call and let's see if it's a good fit. I'm going to put the appointment um, scheduler thing (laughs) link um, in the description. Okay. All right, everybody have a great week. Bye.